as a foreign teacher, you have the opportunity to teach in accredited secondary and primary schools in the United States in an accredited K-12 school under the exchange visitor J-1 non-immigrant visa category. And the best part is that the United States public schools are looking for international teachers. So if you are a professional teacher, you want to stick up to the very end of this video because I am going to talk about the eligibility for foreign teachers to teach in the United States. I'm going to talk about the most sought subject areas that are um, being sought for foreign teachers to teach in the United States. I'm going to talk about the top 10 um, teacher export countries to the US. I will also talk about the top 10 destination states for foreign teachers to teach under the U in the US under the J-1 visa. And I will also talk about the application process if you are interested to immigrate to the United States as a foreign teacher. So make sure you stick up to the very end of this video so you can learn more. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome, Karibu. My name is Ivam Tali and this is Travel with Ivam Tali, your number one YouTube channel for all things um, working abroad, living abroad, and studying abroad. So if any of those topics sound exciting to you, you want to stick up to the very end of this video so that um, you learn. And if any of those topics sound exciting to you, you want to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that every single time I shoot a new video, you do not miss out. So without much further ado, what are the eligibility requirements for you as a professional international teacher to teach in the United States under the J-1 visa. So number one, you must meet the qualifications for teaching in primary or secondary schools in your country of nationality or your last legal residence. So let's say, for example, if you are a Kenyan national or your last legal residence was Kenya, then you must meet the qualifications for teaching in Kenya. Then number two, you must be working as a teacher in your home country or country of legal residence at the time of your application. And um, if you're not working as a teacher, then you must meet the eligibility qualifications and have recently within the last 12 months of application completed an advanced degree and have two years of full-time teaching experience within the past eight years. Then the number three qualification to teach in the US as an international teacher under the J-1 visa, you must have a degree equivalent to a US bachelor's degree in either education or the academic subject field in which you intend to teach. So for example, um, if you do not have a bachelor's of education degree, <coughs> excuse me, but you want to teach mathematics, then you must have a degree in mathematics, yeah? And then number four, you must have a minimum of two years, that is 24 months of teaching or related professional experience. Number five, you must satisfy the standards of the US state in which you will teach. So for example, if you're going to be teaching in South Carolina, then you need to meet the standards of that US state. And then you have to be of good reputation and character. Number seven, you must be seeking to enter the United States for the purpose of full-time teaching as a teacher of record at a primary, including pre-kindergarten or secondary accredited educational institution in the United States. Um, pre-kindergarten teachers must teach full-time and at the pre-kindergarten level may teach only language immersion at accredited host school. Then number eight, of course, you must possess sufficient proficiency in the English language. And number nine, you must have a U.S. designated sponsoring organization. And don't worry, guys, as usual, I'm going to leave a link <coughs> in the description box at the bottom of this video for where you can check sponsoring organizations depending on your country. So once you click on that link and um, it will get to a landing page where there will be organizations, different, different organizations, um, you can decide to filter by programs. And when you filter by programs, just select teacher and it's going to give you all the organizations that are currently sponsoring teachers to the United States under the J-1 visa. So different organizations sponsor people from different countries. Some organizations charge, some do not charge. So for example, if you immigrate um, through the Foreign Academic and Cultural Exchange Services, that is FACES program, you will not pay any fee and you will live and work in South Carolina. And then 
for teachers from Kenya, for example, currently the only sponsoring organization for teachers to immigrate to the United States is the Foreign Academic and Cultural Exchange Services Program. So you want to go to that link and check not only um, by state. So if, let's say, you want to move to South Carolina, then you will go with FACES if you're Kenyan. So check that the organization is sponsoring your country and also it's sponsoring teachers in the state that you intend to move to. So let's quickly look at some of the most sought subject areas um, for foreign teachers in the United States. So the most um, though the most sought after subjects will vary from sponsor to sponsor, the following are the highest preferred subjects. So we have mathematics, biology, chemistry, physics, special education, elementary education, and foreign languages, specifically Mandarin, Chinese, French, Spanish, German, etc. So if you are a teacher in any of those subjects, <coughs> then you should consider submitting your application. And let's look at the top 10 teacher export countries to the United States. So according to the Exchange Visitor J1 um, Non-Immigrant Visa Program website, the top 10 countries sending the most people to teach in the U.S. are Philippines, Jamaica, China, France, Colombia, Spain, India, Mexico, United Kingdom, and Germany. And what are the top 10 destination states for foreign teachers to the U.S. under J1 Visa? So according to the Exchange Visitor J1 Non-Immigrant Visa Program website, again, the top 10 countries, destinations, states for teachers immigrating to the U.S. under the J1 Visa Program are North Carolina, South Carolina, California, Texas, Arizona, Florida, Utah, Louisiana, Nevada, and New York. Okay, so what is the application process to immigrate to the United States as a foreign teacher? <coughs> so the first step you want to prepare all your documents and don't worry guys I'm gonna leave a link in the description box that shows you the different documents you need to require to move to the United States as a foreign teacher and then step number two you need to find a sponsoring organization for your J1 visa exchange program again I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below where you can find a designated sponsoring organization and this is very important because a sponsoring organization is the one that helps you to process your application and also helps you with settlement in America in case your application is successful. So as I've already mentioned, some of the sponsoring organizations will charge you a placement fee while others will not. So it pretty, it pretty much varies from sponsor to sponsor. Faces, for instance, charges no placement fees, okay? Step number three is interview. So upon submission of your application to prospective sponsoring organizations, they will place you for a series of interviews with selected school districts depending on when one decides to hire you as a teacher for one of the schools under their jurisdiction. <coughs> And again, guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description box where you can look at um, some of the key achievements, skills, and traits that interviewers will be looking out for during the interview, okay? Step number four, um, you, you are offered to go to the United States temporarily as a full-time teacher in an accredited school. So upon successfully passing the interviews in step three above, the school district that selects you informs your sponsoring organization of their willingness to hire you as a teacher in their school district. So this, the sponsoring organization will then supply you with the following information, the name of the school, teaching assignments, duties and responsibility, salary and benefit details, and your expected arrival time to the United States. So step number five involves um, your J-1 visa application at the U.S. Embassy in your home country. So teacher applicants who have successfully completed the evaluation process and have been offered a teaching position will receive from the sponsoring organization a certificate of eligibility for exchange visa J-1 status form DS-2019. So with all the information in step four above, that is your documents, you will then submit an application and attend your J-1 visa interview at the U.S. Embassy in your home country. So the key here is to clearly articulate to the visa officer interviewing you that the J-1 visa program is a teaching exchange program allowing teachers to live and work in the United States for one year with the option to renew for a second and third year. So your main reason for wanting to immigrate to the U.S. through this program 
is to teach and to learn from your prospective hosts and students, okay? And of course, step number six is arrival to the US. If your visa application is successful, your sponsoring organization will then process your departure to the United States. So although some organizations will pay your entire air ticket, most will pay for half of your air ticket and require you to cater for the remainder. So your sponsor will therefore, <coughs> excuse me, your sponsor will be there to meet you upon arrival to the United States. And um, other issues your sponsoring organization will help you with include teaching preparations, tips on how to adjust to your new environment, how to handle your prospective students, opening a bank account, getting a car, and the like. So guys, that's in a nutshell how you can um, immigrate to the United States and as a foreign teacher. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. You can read about all other information about this J1 visa program and um, moving to the US as a teacher. As usual, if you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a like, leave a sweet comment below, and share it with all other people that might also find it useful. Thank you for staying up to the very end of this video. I definitely look forward to meeting you on the next one.